Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. There's been four announcements this week, including S3 Sync capability for EC2 Systems Manager, server-side encryption for Amazon Kinesis Streams, there's been eight additional AWS services that are now HIPAA compliant, and Lambda at Edge is now generally available. My name's Ryan Krunenberg, and this is AWS This Week. So this week, Amazon have announced S3 Sync capability for EC2 Systems Manager. And if you've tuned into AWS this week in the last couple of weeks, you will notice they're pushing out lots of changes to EC2 Systems Manager. And EC2 Systems Manager is a management service that helps you create system images, collect software inventory, configure both Windows and Linux operating systems, as well as applying operating system patches to these instances. And now with S3 Sync for EC2 Systems Manager, it allows you to aggregate all your capture data automatically from instances in both different regions as well as across multiple AWS accounts and you can store this information in S3. You can then run queries against this using Athena and you can visualize the data using QuickSight. Server-side encryption is now enabled with Kinesis Streams, and Kinesis Streams helps you to ingest large amounts of data, and I'm talking the terabytes per hour basis, from hundreds of thousands of different sources. And then you can build custom applications to, to react to this data. Now with server-side encryption, it makes it easy to automatically encrypt the streaming data coming into your stream. And Kinesis Streams is now Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, or PCI DSS compliant. So if you're taking credit card details from your customer, Customers, you can use streams as a part of your application. You can start, stop, or update server-side encryption for any Kinesis streams using the AWS Management Console or the AWS SDK. There are now eight additional services from AWS that are HIPAA compliant, and this includes CloudFront, WAF, AWS Shield, S3 Transfer Acceleration, Workspaces, Directory Services, SNS, and Cognito. And if you want to know what services are compliant with PCI DSS, SOC, ISO, or HIPAA compliant, check out the services in scope section on the AWS website. And for those of you that don't know, HIPAA is a series of regulations in the US to keep healthcare providers compliant with in terms of their patient data. And the biggest announcement this week is that Lambda at Edge is now generally available. And Lambda at Edge is an extension of AWS Lambda, which is a compute service that allows you to execute functions without having to worry about the underlying servers or infrastructure. Lambda at Edge allows you to deploy your Lambda functions to CloudFront Edge locations, which lowers latency for you and your end users. And there's a great blog post by Jason Mora on read.acloud.guru called Supercharge Your Static Website with the Power of AWS Lambda at Edge. And interestingly, there's no free tier for Lambda at Edge at this time. Well, that's it for AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next week.